Here's what to do when you see exponents that are fractions. So whenever you see something being raised to a fraction, don't panic, trust the process, and remember that you can rewrite this as just a root and a regular exponent. The hack here is that a to the b over c is the same thing as the cth root of a to the b. Same expression, just a different vibe. So in this example, where we're asked to rewrite x to the 3 fourths in radical form, we can use our trick from before to write it as the fourth root of x to the third. Also remember, if the exponent is negative, you do basically the same thing, but slap a one divided by on top of whatever you get at the end. So what's the move when you've got an actual number getting hit with a fraction exponent and you're asked to evaluate? Here we could run it back and write the 125 to the 2 thirds, the usual way, as the cube root of 125 squared. However, evaluating this way just ain't it, as calculating 125 squared in your head is low-key impossible. And even if you were able to lock in and figure out it was 15,625, any normal human is going to be humbled pretty quick when trying to figure out what the cubed root of this fridge of a number is. The 200 IQ play to do these types of problems is to switch the order and do the root first and then raise the exponent. In this case, we should know the cubed root of 125 is just 5, and then it's light work to do the exponent part of 5 to the second power. This gets us 25, and you're done. The reason why the math is mathing here is because we can rewrite the exponent, b over c, as two exponents multiplying by each other, b times 1 over c. Now multiplying exponents is the same thing as stacking them, aka raising an exponent to another exponent, which gets us the usual answer of a raised to the b, and then rooted by c. However, since the commutative property says b times 1 over c is the same thing as 1 over c times b, we can flip the order such that a gets raised to the 1 over c, and then gets raised to the b. This means we do the cth root first, and then raise it to the bth power. And there you have it. That's how to figure out exponents that are fractions. Nice!